everyone welcome back to my channel my name is yara i hope you guys are having an amazing day what i have for you guys today is bringing back the dominic's cosmetics palette this one right here that we received in our boxy charm i can't remember exactly what month but i've been loving it i'm obsessed with all the colors and this is what i came up with today i hope you guys enjoy and now please keep on watching Okay, my loves, I'm just going to be applying a good amount. Make sure your hands are clean. This product is amazing for the skin. I've been loving this brow pomade. It's super easy to use, especially because it comes with the spoolie on the back. So you can apply it and also comb your eyebrows. Super amazing product. Okay, my loves, and now to clean up my eyebrows, this is the Maybelline Concealer. I love to clean my eyebrows con with concealer. It makes it super easy, and you can fix any mistake. Now, taking my sponge, I'm just going to blend all the concealer through my eyelid, also to prep it for the eyeshadow. Now, setting, now to prep my face, I'm going to be using the Rose Water by Wet n Wild. And for foundation today, I've been loving mixing these two foundations, the Infallible Pro Matte and the Pro Glow. It's a perfect combination for everyday makeup look, especially now with this, um, with this weather, you don't want something too matte or too glowy. Now to conceal under my dark circles, I'm going to be using the concealer by e.l.f. This is the Camo Concealer. Just applying under my eyes, on the tip of my nose, around my nose, on the red areas, and a little bit on the lid to prep for eyeshadow. I'm just going to be blending all my concealer with this brush. This brush has become my favorite at the moment. So just taking this brush, I'm going to blend everything together. Okay, now I'm gonna be contouring my face with this contour stick by Wet n Wild. I don't remember the shade of it, but it's one of the darkest ones they have. I'm just gonna be contouring under my cheeks, on my um, upper lip, bottom lip, and on my nose. Okay, using the same brush, I'm gonna buff in my contour shade. Um, you can also build up this contour uh, by applying little by little, but this is all I did for this makeup look. I just wanted something really subtle and simple. Okay, now I'm gonna be setting on my liquids using the Wet n Wild Translucent Powder. This has become one of my favorite, and it also doesn't have any flashback. Okay, now to bronze up my skin, you already know I'm going to be using my e.l.f. bronzer. This has become my obsession. I use it every single day. It's just super subtle. You can always build up the bronzer and blush. Now to melt all the powders into my skin, I'm going to be setting it with my rose water one more time. Now apply my favorite highlighter of all time, just on my uh, highest points of my face. Now we're going to start with the star of the show and this is the Dominix Cosmetics Palette. Just going to be applying this color all over my crease. Now taking the next shade, it's only going to go on the corner of the eyelid just to darken up the crease a little bit. You can also build up this color, add in little by little. I decided for this look to cut the crease a little bit just so the blue color can pop up way more. It's just using this concealer. This is the Conceal It by LA Colors. Now taking this beautiful shade, I'm going to apply it all over my crease. I'm 
coming back with the dark shade i'm just gonna build up the color since i lost a few by blending it also i decided to add a little bit of shimmer on the eyelid just gonna go on top of the blue color using my favorite eyeliner i'm gonna do a wing liner something really simple now here i'm already applying my lashes and now let's finish up the eye look i decided to add the color pink on the bottom lash i really like how this looked everything came out super super beautiful adding a little bit of mascara this is the mascara by Too faced now for lips i'm just gonna be using my dose of colors shade this is all i did for my lips i wanted something more natural since the eyes are the start of this show Now to finish up the look and melt other products together, I'm going to be spraying it one more time and this is the last step. And we are done. All I can say is that I'm obsessed with this palette. I see myself using this palette, especially for the holidays. Super beautiful colors and super pigmented. So the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something today. My goal of every video is for you guys to learn something for you guys to enjoy and be happy with my content i hope you guys have an amazing day and please leave a comment down below what you would like to swatch on my next video i will see you next time